Right, this is UCC Youth again with Lady K Brooke at MNT Nation, and she's going to be showing Hello. us some of her designs for uh, dining rooms. So I'm turning it over to you, Lady. All right. Well, first, I just have a couple of chair designs. I think some of these may have been uh, shown. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, just the trapdoors, the armrests, if you want armrests. This would also make uh, a great little chair in like a, a living room setup or like a little office or something right? as well. I, I like the trap doors because most people use signs and it, there's not any thickness to them. But these trap doors have thickness and like you said, they, they make arms. Right. And when you kind of match all the, the woods together, mm -hmm. it, it really looks like it goes together really well. Yeah, it does. It looks great. And then here, I actually have the iron door set up. Mm -hmm. And for the seat is actually white quartz, a quartz slab. So it matches the color. It's also it's all white. Mm -hmm. And to get those uh, iron trap doors to stand up, you have to put a redstone torch. Redstone, yes. If you look down there, there is a redstone torch underneath to keep right. it up. Right, okay. Because that can be tricky. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you have to pick carefully where you're going to place them so you have space for the redstone. Right. So preferably a first floor or, like, or a basement mm -hmm. so that you have space. Okay. Another. And uh, here is a, another design. It looks really simple on its own. Mm -hmm. But with no armrests, it actually makes it quite a lot easier for dining room chairs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it doesn't take up as much Because space. otherwise, you know, technically you'd have to jump over the armrest. <laughs> right. <laughs> At least this way you can just kind of walk on. Right. That looks good. And uh, over here, you can kind of see that in action a little bit over oh, here. Oh, yeah. yeah. This looks really good. And, so the, and this is also the table is a, is a kind of a trick, actually. Because as you know, carpets cannot float. Right. But, um, so in order to to uh, work around that, I have string placed underneath. Oh. You can't really see it exactly because it's so dark. No. Um, but oh, here we go. Oh, I see it right there. But if you look over here, behind you, yeah. like this, right. then you can place carpet on top of the string. Oh, that's a good trick. I did not know that. So. Yeah, and on many blocks, on the especially the lighter blocks, you really can't see it. Right, I couldn't so see it, it at all. So it works pretty well. Yeah, on the on the grass, you really can't see it, mm -mm. and so altogether, it just makes for a really simple. You don't have to have the messy, you know, extra fences or anything. Right. Because normally you'd have to do it more like this. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But this looks a lot better, the way that you have it there. And string, that's a good thing. I did not know that. So hopefully that'll be some good information to pass on to people. Yeah. Well, luckily, you know, the carp carpet does float on, we'll be able to sit on strings. So right. that works pretty well. <laughs> that is so cool. I learned something new today. That's awesome. All right. Now, um, I personally have a preference for being able to place things on the dining room tables. Mm -hmm. I like so that. that you can do things like this. So this was a, another table design that I came up with, mm -hmm. and this is actually upside down stairs right. surrounding one full block in the center. Right. Then you just use. You can uh, make this uh, rectangular, you know, or square. Right. It looks you good know. like this, like a square. It looks something. good. I love the flower right in the middle there, tulip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And then cool. You, know, you can put pressure plates for. It'll look like plates. So. Yeah, it definitely looks like a placemat or, or even a plate, like you said, yeah. Yeah, it could be either way. That's awesome. Over here, I have a design uh, I also came up with, which is a china cabinet. In dining rooms, you know, you have limited things that are available to kind of decorate a dining room. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, something I came up with to help put some extra in the dining room. So this first and, uh, one has, uh, you can see the wood in the back there. Right. This one, um, if you look from the side, is really deep. Um, so you have to make sure you allow lots of room for this one. Right. Um, so about because, So that, that way you can have it all matching back mm -hmm. and sides, and you can have the little shelves in the inside. 
Right. So you have to kind of pick carefully where you put it. So it's you three can't deep, have it yeah. Mm -hmm. the back, uh, mm -hmm. depending on where you put it. Right. So you, you know, just need a little you know, extra room. You need three about. three blocks back. That's good. Yeah, well, three blocks deep. It's oh, that's all it is. But it this one good. I managed to keep a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but that is because I allowed the back of it to be the same color as the wall. Right. And uh, it still sticks out though, so you you do still have to have three deep. Mm -hmm. And but it just blends better. And you can put stuff inside these uh, china cabinets, right? Yes, and we'll see that in the next spot. Okay. And over here. Oh yeah, this is my favorite. Is my <laughs> example of a fully decorated dining room. Yeah, I love this dining room. So to contrast with the dark floor and the dark shade of the walls, mm -hmm. we have a really light shade of furniture. Contrast. Right. Mm -hmm. So birch wood and birch chairs with the quartz seat to match the doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's very pretty. I don't know what it is. I guess it's the walls and the flooring, just the contrast, like you said. And here. Yes. Well, red walls for dining room was actually kind of popular in eras like the Victorian era, actually, mm -hmm. because colors were coming mm -hmm. in and it became quite popular somewhere around that time. Mm -hmm. This is neat. I like the stuff so that you put here, in the china cabinet, too. Oh, yes. So this is uh, one way of adding stuff into it. Since we have limited ways of adding due to the carpet, mm -hmm. uh, item frames well, it can be placed in the same block area as the carpets. Hmm, that's neat. And so this way you can kind of add various items, whatever you want, to kind of look like like it's, you know, China. cups or whatever. <laughs> now on this side, I have a, have a little drink bar set up. Oh, yeah. I love that. It's so cool. I like uh, putting the little drink uh flask up there in the item frames that looks cool yeah <laughs> yeah well, i figured you know you had a couple of drink types down there and the brewing stand which you know you could think of as almost like a the minecraft equivalent of like a coffee maker right. or you know something like that kind of looks like a coffee maker <laughs> um so just you know minecraft equivalent just a brain stand <laughs> right and some plants right. in the back that looks really nice too those two plants in yes. the corner. Yeah, my uh, simple little plants. The greenery does add a lot, which brings us to our short little extra addition okay. down here. So here's a couple of very simple indoor tree ideas. The left one's a little bit bulkier, but would work great if you had a really, uh, like a big room, you know, a large mm -hmm. room, a throne room, or, you know, anything like that that, that you need to you know, add a little something else. Okay. This one's more compact. Right. Um, this one is two blocks high, but can be done one block high like you saw before. Right. I like and, it. And uh, something else I wanted to note is in addition to dirt you put mm -hmm. on the inside, you could use silk touch and get a uh, grass block so that it's colored over here. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, this is podzel. Podzel, right. Right. And I like it's that. from... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's from one of the newer forests in the mm -hmm. game. And it just kind of looks like like dead leaves and fallen leaves, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm, right. But it kind of works great for the inside of pot. Yeah, it does. It looks Another like it Another thing better. you can actually add that I did not demonstrate, and that is actually coarse dirt. Right. It's a, This will work, would work quite, quite well as well. And it would never grow grass on it, so if you wanted to make sure that it didn't grow grass on it, this would be a great way of doing that. Okay, it looks good. All right, and this is really simple. Everyone knows how to add plants to pots, but these are just a few that um, are less commonly known that you can add to pots. So you have the cactus over here. Mm-hmm. Um, which is actually really great, especially if you don't want things to look like real girly with flowers and things like that. A simple <laughs> right. practice is a great way to go. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's cool. And of course, a fern, mm -hmm. which is found in certain forests. Uh, certain, but you just, I think it's a taiga. Right. 
the spruce forest. You can find these in there. You just have to use shears on it, like you would on grass. Right. And it actually mm -hmm. works in the pots. And of course, the dead bush, which I think you can get with shears. From you find the it desert. in the desert. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Which I think can be found in some places, like the. Sometimes I've seen it in like the witch's hut or something like that. Hmm. So. <laughs> I don't know. So over here, I have a very simply uh, done living room. Yeah, it looks and pretty plain. This is, oh, Yes, it's quite plain. This is kind of really basic, like how you might have uh, done, done your living room in the beginning. Right. But now, say you got a little stuck, and you know it looks plain, but mm. you're not really sure what to add. So I just wanted to demonstrate how just adding a few plants can really dramatically improve the look of the room. Right. All right, so first I say let's add a few plants to the room to improve it. So first I'm going to add some pots to the corners, to the okay. back corners, mm -hmm. being something kind of tall for the back because it'll kind of stick up above everything else. Right. So here we go. Add a couple of simple trees. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. you can do it to the height of the ceiling, however height. I just think it looks a little bit better to leave a little space before right. you hit the ceiling. That looks so good. So something to think about when you're coming up with your design. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So next, I was thinking that, you know, something else is you could add little tables, um, small tables of some kind, mm -hmm. specifically just to put little plants on. Right, that's like a little coffee table, or not a, really a coffee table, just a side just table. Just a little side, <laughs> yeah. uh, kind of like a, almost like a credenza or something. Yeah, right. That you can just place to put decorative plants on. And uh, this is a, a very simple uh, side table design. Uh, can be done single wide too, mm -hmm. you know, the size or space. Okay. Right. And so there you go. Good. And of course, you can place mushrooms pots. That looks good. Looks better already. Yep. And from here on, the only other thing you can add would be like paintings and item frames. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you did an excellent job, lady. Thank you for showing us around again and giving us some great ideas for furniture, especially in the dining room. So we appreciate everything that you do, and we'll see you again. Bye. Bye.